Hi everyone, welcome back to the Geo Specials. This is post G's baby steps. And guess what you're learning today? Special relationships. So if you have watched the previous tutorial on geometry, you have now understood the concept of special data types, points, lines, and polygons, and how to create them and also to manipulate them. So in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at special relationships or in other words, topology. And topology can just be defined as the special relationship between adjacent uh, data types or features. So you'll be hearing along the way things such as equals, insert, touches, crosses, intersect. So get ready for this tutorial, grab a notebook and let's get started. First, we're going to look at ST equals and it mainly tests the equality of two geometries. So first of all, these geometries must be of the same type, and then they must have an identical x, y coordinate value so that the output is returned as true. So most of these special functions that we'll be testing out will either be returning true or false, meaning they'll be Boolean functions. Let's try out st equals. Within your Postgres query tool, within pgadmin, let's just so in this case, we are going to be using NIC subway stations. And this data simply shows the stations, their points, and also other attributes of these stations. So to check the geometry of these stations, I'm going to do a select query. We are going to check the name, the geometry, and you can also return the geometry as, as a text. Okay, so this will still be the geometry from NYC subway stations. Then let's run that. Let's return specifically Cotland station. So you can give it a where condition of name is equals to Portland station. Now we have two of them. Um, we're going to limit ourselves to the first one. So limit one. Now we need this value. So you can copy that. And then you're going to write a query now to check the st equals parameter. So select the name from the NYC subway stations. Where st equals. Now if this condition is satisfied, then it will um, return the output. takes in the geometry and it also takes in this value. We are going to just paste in the value and remove the double quotation marks. Now run this and you'll see a uh, Cotland uh, station satisfies this condition. Now we can also test um, whether the interiors of the geometries intersect using either ST intersects, ST disjoint, ST crosses or ST overlaps. So let's um, first have a drawing of that and then you can try out the queries in PG admin. Okay, let us start with intersect. And intersect is true if, for example, two shapes or geometry have any space in common, that is, if their boundaries or interiors intersect. So for example, a point and a point can intersect in that way. You can have a line string and another line string and another point um, intersecting. And then that will return as true. We can also have 
a line string and another line string intersecting so if their boundaries or their interiors intersect then it's true so these are line string and a line string also we can have a see a polygon and it can intersect with a point so if the interior intersects with the point with a point and a polygon we can also have a polygon and a, a line string and in this case they intersect so that will be a line string and a polygon intersecting now apart from intersecting we can have disjoint and disjoint is the opposite of intersecting so if these two geometries do not intersect then they are um, disjoint So uh, it is more efficient to test not intersect than to test disjoint because intersect tests can be specially indexed while disjoint tests cannot. So you can have a point and a multipoint, you can have a point and a line string whereby they do not intersect or do not touch the boundaries or do not fall within the interiors of the other feature have a line string and a line string we can also have a um, polygon and a point so that's multi point yeah we can also have A polygon and another polygon disjoint with each other and finally we can have a polygon and a line string disjoint to each other so rather than testing uh, disjoint test not intersect next we can also test if they cross so if they cross then uh, the dimension is one less than the maximum dimension of the two source geometries and the intersection set is interior to both source geometries so for example a multipoint and a line string or a multipoint and a polygon so at least one of the um, geometries or both cross the other geometry. So we have a line string and a polygon. We can test if they overlap. So what happens with overlap? It compares the geometries of the same dimension, let's say it's 2D, and it returns true if their intersection results in a geometry different from both, but the same dimension. So for example, multipoints and multipoints, they can overlap in such a case, whereby one appears to be on top of the other. We can have a line string and another line string. Apart from having a line string and another line string, we can also have a polygon and it can overlap with another polygon. So where the dimensions are the same, then you can test for overlap. You can also have a touch 
and it tests whether geometries touch at their boundaries but do not intersect uh, in the interiors. So for example, a point and a line string which touch but do not intersect in the interiors. You can also have a polygon or rather a line string with another line string and their boundaries touch but do not intersect at the interiors. This is mostly seen or better seen when having a polygon. So we can also see a polygon, in this case, and a point. So you see the point does not fall into the interior of the polygon. The polygon, sorry about that. And then we can also test uh, contain or within. Now there is a bit of a difference, but both of them test uh, whether a geometry is within another. So you can have a point within another point. What happens with within? The first geometry is com should be completely within the second geometry to qualify as true. But what happens with contain is the second geometry should be completely contained by the first geometry. So within is the exact opposite result of contain. So for example, we have the first geometry, which is a line string, should be completely within the second geometry to qualify as true. And you can have the in this case a point completely contained within the polygon to return as true. Also we can test um, a polygon and a line. So the line string or the rather the polygon contains the line string. Now we are going to be testing out ST intersects. So we are going to check the um, subway stations that intersect with a specific neighborhood. So first of all, we need to retrieve uh, one subway station, its point. So uh, we'll, we'll retrieve the broad subway station to so select. And then we need the name and also we need the geometry as text as text from the subway stations table so the subway stations where the name is equal to broad station now when you run that we get this point value. So this is what we need, copy it somewhere. Then now we're going to select the name um, from NYC neighborhoods table Where now I want to check if it intersects. So ST intersects. So the intersects special function takes in the geometry which is being retrieved from the NYC neighborhoods. And then we also need now the uh, point that is being tested out to intersect or the target. So in our case, it's the subway station. Is a point, and this point can only be tested out if it's a uh, in geometrical value, geom value. So we'll have to return it as st geom from text rather than having it as a text value. So copy this whole point and paste it within 
there and then we also need to test out the S read which is 26 918 so let's run that saying I need to put this in caps lock ST intersect and you're probably screaming at my screen telling me I need to fix this uh, 26918 to be within the point value so if we remove this comma and run this we find that uh, financial district uh, intersects with the subway station that we had selected which in our case was broad station so you can go ahead and test out overlaps now for testing whether two objects are within a distance of another the std within function is used and it's an index accelerated true or false test so for example you want to determine um, which feature or features are within a buffer of maybe 500 from the road then you can use the st within function next let us test the distance between two geometries and you're going to test out the distance between the shortest distance between a point and a line so for that we use the select st distance and then you give it the geometries so the first one will be a line so we're going to first return it as it's going to be jump from text because whatever is taken in is a geometry function is a geometry property from text and then we're going to have a point so a point let's say our point is um, 0, 05 and then our line is so geom from text a line string and our line will have the coordinates 2, 2 and then negative 2, 2 so if we run that you get that the distance is 3. Now you have probably had the question where you are being asked what or how many features are within a certain distance. So for this we will try out uh, one query where we test out the features that fall within a certain uh, distance from a specific feature. So we use the D within we'll select. So for example this query will take in uh, you'll be looking for the name of any feature that falls within uh, 10 meters from this point and this is going to be retrieved from NYC streets table so we are trying to see any streets that fall within 10 meters from this point and it takes in uh, the geometry which are the streets and then it takes in the point which is the source or rather the target and then it takes in the distance now if we run this we get that three streets that is Nassau, Broad and Wall fall within 10 meters from this point that's it everyone thank you for watching this tutorial and have a good day and guys if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a like. Bye.